Everyone knows that good communication in a business is important, but it's especially important when it comes to trade and service industries. There are just so many moving parts. You have numerous active jobs at once, all in different locations, and a team where the office staff and field technicians are physically separate most of the day. Good communication doesn't just mean keeping in touch with lots of phone calls and text messages. You need to be able to communicate detailed job and client information efficiently. Names, phone numbers, addresses, job requirements, scheduling, time spent and materials used, photos, etc. When you do this, jobs will run smoother and be completed faster, and you'll actually have more visibility around what's going on in your business, where staff are, and how jobs are progressing with less phone calls and messages. ServiceMate has some really useful features when it comes to maintaining visibility of where everyone is, effectively handling and dispatching new urgent jobs, communicating scheduling changes, and just streamlining communication between team members, particularly between the office and the field. So let's check it out. You can make faster and better decisions when you know where your team members are and what they're doing. Rather than calling everyone or guessing where they are, you can view the location of other team members online and in the ServiceMate app. In the staff schedules view, whenever a team member in the field has opened a job card and tapped start job, and is either navigating to that job or they've checked into that job, an icon will appear next to their name here. So we can see that Charlie has checked into job 109 about 24 minutes ago, and Cameron is navigating to job 101 and should arrive by 9.30. Now, what if there's no icon displaying here? First question, have they clocked on in the ServiceMate app? Online, you can tell if someone's clocked on because of the colour of their staff icon here. If it's grey, it means they're not clocked on. Staff can clock on to their shift in the Activity tab here. If they don't do this, they'll automatically clock on when they check into the first job of the day. OK, so they're clocked on, but there's still no icon. Let's go to the dispatch map and try to find them. If you can't see them, try clicking the down arrow next to their icon, then locate. When you find them, click the icon and you'll get a pop-up with info on how long ago they were at that location, and if they've actually stopped there, how long since they arrived. And similar to the icons we saw in staff schedules, whenever someone is navigating or checked into a job, they'll have a box above them with their status. Similarly, in the app, you can see the location of staff members in the map view of the Jobs tab. To get the best results, make sure everyone's devices are set to provide ServiceMate with location access all of the time. Everyone should also make an effort to navigate and check in to jobs properly. It keeps the rest of the team in the loop and will reduce the need for interrupting calls and messages throughout the day. If your business responds to urgent jobs and callouts, Good visibility and communication is particularly important. So if a client calls up the office with an urgent job, you can use all the features we've covered to see the availability of staff to respond. You can check out everyone's schedules for the day, click team members icons to filter the jobs list to their schedule only. You can see how long someone's been checked in to their current job, maybe check out their progress in the job diary, and see where everyone is in relation to the new urgent job. All this helps you understand your capability to respond and manage customer expectations without a lot of back and forth between you, your staff and your client. Once you've decided who will respond, drag the new unscheduled job onto the staff members icon that's going to respond. The urgent dispatch window will appear, you can add a message, then dispatch it. If you have the Job Allocations add-on enabled, this window will look a bit different, but as long as the booking window is set to urgent, it will work the same way. Now, whoever was allocated the urgent job will instantly receive a push notification they've been allocated an urgent job. It will also appear at the top of their schedule in the app. If you're the one taking the calls and in charge of job dispatch, but you're not at your computer, you can also dispatch urgent jobs from the ServiceMate app. Create a new job, tap save, then tap urgent dispatch. 
you'll get a pop-up which sets out where everyone is in relation to the new job address, their availability, and the approximate time it will take for them to get there. Keep in mind you can only access this special map view immediately after creating the new job. But if this doesn't work for you, it's no worries, you can still dispatch urgent jobs another way. Enable the job allocations add-on, and you'll be able to dispatch urgent jobs to staff through the Add Booking button in the job card. Just tap Add Booking, Allocate, select the staff member, and set the booking window to Urgent, then Book. There are events and actions in ServiceMate which push notifications between technicians in the field and staff in the office. Understanding when notifications are automatically sent is useful. You know when a technician will be notified about a new job or schedule change, which can save doubling up with a message or a phone call. When you're logged into the ServiceMate app, you'll be notified on your iPhone or iPad when a new job is scheduled to you at a time later that day, when a job scheduled to you later the same day is rescheduled to a new time, when an urgent job is allocated to you, when a job is allocated for a non-specific time, such as during business hours, using the job allocations add-on, when a job scheduled to you later the same day is cancelled, when an allocated job is cancelled, when you receive an instant message from another team member, when you're mentioned in a job note, you can tag someone this way by typing the at symbol and choosing from the list. And finally, when a job is sent to a queue for action by the end of the day and is assigned to you. A quick note on all these notifications. They're push notifications received through the ServiceMate app using the internet and cellular data. So you need to ensure everyone's devices are set to allow notifications from ServiceMate. Otherwise, they won't get them. You'll also see a lot of these updates in the Notifications tab, both in the app and online, as well as these updates popping up in the bottom left here. In summary, it's good to form a habit of keeping on top of your notifications. On a day-to-day -day basis, you can't entirely avoid texting and calling team members. When it comes to instant messaging, there are lots of options available to message your team outside of ServiceMate but there are some good reasons to message them inside of ServiceMate. To send an instant message to another team member from the online dashboard, click the down arrow next to their icon, then send message. Messages are sent as a push notification, appearing on the receiving device's home screen and accessible in the top right corner of the activity tab. Replies back to staff online will pop up in the dispatch board. For broader team messaging, you can use the activity feed. If you need certain team members to know, you can mention them like this, and they'll receive a regular notification. Tagging staff also works in job notes as well, which is a very effective shortcut to bring communication about a specific job directly into that job's record. You can mention a staff member in a job note, and they'll receive a push notification, which they can tap to open the job card view the note in the job's diary, and respond as needed. Mentioning a team member in a job note means they get that immediate context and access to the job's details, and any further communication is saved against this central job record for future reference. This is instead of the info being kept and saved somewhere else where it essentially gets lost. When you're mentioned in a job note this way, it's probably important to that job progressing in some way. So these mentions will also appear in the For My Review list and your mentions list. Similar to mentioning team members, you can also tag specific jobs in job notes and activity feed posts. Just type a hashtag immediately followed by the job number and it will become a hyperlink to open that specific job card. And for those times when it just makes sense to phone a team member, if for some reason you don't have their number or you're already in the ServiceMate app, you can call or FaceTime another staff member by going to the More tab, tapping Staff, then tapping their name. Capturing the outcome of a site visit in ServiceMate efficiently communicates to everyone else where the job is at, as in whether the job is finished 
and if not, what needs to happen next. Recording this key information helps the job progress to completion and payment faster. When everyone does this well, every day, it helps your productivity, efficiency, customer service, and cash flow. This is why when you're on site and check out of a job that isn't complete, you should add a note to explain where the job is at. This is just a regular job note, which will show in the job's diary. You can then decide how you want to manage the job to keep it moving forward. You can schedule it for another visit or send the job to a queue. So, checking out of jobs, saving notes and managing them properly in ServiceMate keeps them moving forward and efficiently communicates what's next to everyone else in your team in one central place.